Hi again, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to do a restock of my soap called Cosmolyptus. And uh, it's got eucalyptus in it, and there's how I got part of the name. And the other part of the name is um, the Cosmo part, and I wanted to make it look sort of uh, space like. So I'm going to do a uh, um, in the pot swirl, and I'm going to do a uh, hanger swirl, but only to a certain part of the soap. So I hope you like this video. Okay, got everything to about 100 degrees. I've got a lot to do with this soap as far as colors and mixing, so I am just going to blend this. I've got some shea butter in there. Okay, so that's it for that. Let me come back and show you what I'm going to do with the colors. Okay, so let's uh, split these things up. I'm going to make a split this up in half pretty much first. Just eyeballing it. Okay, and um, I want to make some orange. And some purple. And I'm gonna leave the rest with some white. And I'll mix that up in a bit. Uh, then I'm gonna split this off into actually don't even need this cup. This is going to be like a light blue. Put this in there back. And black. Okay, so I'm going to do the black first. Also want to add my fragrance. Almost forgot. It's mainly eucalyptus and um, lemongrass. Musk in there too. Set off. And this I think is my light blue. It looks like a lavender. That might be my purple. Make sure. I think this one is the one I want. Yeah, that's it. I really wanted this like lavender. That's going to be my in the pot swirl with the black. So it's got a lot of bubbles in that, so I'm going to have to stir that out. I find it hard to get a good orange sometimes, so this one I spent some time in mixing some neon orange and some um, orange mica. So now I'm ready to do my swirling. Okay, so let me do some stirring here. This one looks pretty good. A lot of a lot of bits and pieces to put together now. The first thing I'm going to do is do the my, my in the pot swirl, 
with the um, sort of lavender. This is going to be like the swirls of the cosmos and the center is going to be more like a galaxy. So get this all in there. Saving just a little for the top. Just a little because I'm going to use more of the orange mix for that. A couple swirls. Spins around. I'm going to pour about half of this in the mold. And that's good. Now my other in the pot swirl is going to be mainly the white. Saving a little bit more of that for the top. And this purple. You don't want to you don't want to stir your in the pot swirls too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go right down the middle here. So the nice swirl. So this is where my hanger swirl is going to just take care of the middle part. So I want to give that a couple spins, then pull it out. And then I'm going to carefully go back in with my darker mixture. just going to spoon this fragile part right now and then I'll pour the rest because I do want that in the pot swirl to be intact. I did this before like this and I just thought that the light lavender broke up the black a little bit so it was not as you know dense or void of color and it turned out pretty nice so I want to replicate that. Okay, just smooth that out a little bit. bit left over for this white. I think that might actually look nice. I like subtlety so if I have any leftover soap at all it just adds a nice little detail sometimes and sometimes it's too little to make any difference but um, when it does show up it's kind of nice so you might want to give that a try. This batch could have been a little bit more firmed up when I added that 
before because then I would have gotten more of a, a clump in the middle but um, I wasn't patient enough I guess or I was curious about what's going to go on if I do things differently so it's a mix of those two reasons why I didn't wait Trying to go for a cosmic look on top too, so that's the colors are so bright. What I'm doing right now would be perfect for a mantra swirl, but I'm not gonna do that. I just I wanna really make peaks like it's the um, peaks of some wild planet. The whole idea is this cosmic idea. Okay. And I think this is firm enough to do some texture let's see not quite I'll come right back and texture the top well actually I'm back sooner because I remembered I have this other color that I want to use it'll make the top look even better put this right down the middle Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's firmed up nicely. In the meantime, I got some things cleaned up. Just really want to get some peaks in there. Wiping off my spoon so I don't mix the purple too much. Off camera, I'm wiping off my spoon. Okay, that's about it, except I do want to add some fuchsia colored glitter. Usually my standby iridescent one is good, but since this is a cosmic soap, it needs some special glitter. Just right down the center. And just uh, hope the light catches that right for the camera. Some of that iridescent um, fuchsia glitter. And um, I think I'll be cutting this sometime tomorrow. Although now I am participating in a local open market on my Saturdays, so that takes away some soap making time. But it's nice to get out there with the people and see what they like. Take requests, that's how you end up doing soaps that people really like. That's what my plan is for tomorrow. Okay, take care. This is Clyde and we'll see you soon. Bye.